Summit K 2025 aspirants. So in today's video, we are going to solve top 30 questions from the chapter coordination compounds. Okay. So in 2024, even four questions have been asked from this chapter. So very, very high weightage topic. Let us do all the questions from here. Okay. So starting with the first question here is the two isomers of a compound are shown in the figures. Okay. The isomers can be classified as. So whenever you see this type of compound M A 3 B 3 type. Okay, it will always give you facial and meridional geometrical isomers. Okay, facial and meridional. Now, if you see that these like two uh, two ligands on the plane and one ligand on the top or on the axis that makes one face of an octahedron. Okay, so this first one is your facial and the second one is your meridional. So that is why option number A here. Okay. Next, the magnetic, uh, the magnitude of magnetic moment of NiCl4 2 minus is. Now, if I see the oxidation state for nickel, let it be x minus 4 equal to minus 2, x is equal to plus 2. So, what is the configuration of nickel? It is 3D8 and 4S2. Now, nickel 2 plus will have how much? That is 3D8. Okay. So, now if I do 3D8, uh, yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I have 2 unpaired electrons. So, for 2 unpaired electrons, the magnetic moment will be 2.82. Okay. Next, the coordination number and oxidation number in the following compound. So, if I see that there are 6 ligands, so coordination number will be 6 and oxidation number if I see X, okay, and for sulfur it is minus 2, for ammonia it is 0, then for chlorine it is minus 1, so I will get plus 3, that is option number A here. Next, the formula of the complex potassium trichlorido ethyl it's sorry ethylene platinate 2 is okay so now if i have first i will uh, just write down this compound i have trichlorido so platinum 3 is there and trichlorido okay and you have ethylene uh, that is c2h4 okay now what is and this side i have potassium okay now what is the oxidation state of here so if you see platinum is in plus 2 state this is minus 3 and this is 0 so it is minus 1 and potassium is plus 1 so if i criss cross i will get option number a here next the spin only magnetic moment value in the given compound so if you see chromium here is in zero oxidation state what is the electronic configuration of chromium 3d5 and 4s1 so, if I just draw this 3D5, okay, this is 3D5 and this is uh, 4S1. Now, what will happen? CO is a strong field ligand. So, there will be pairing of electrons. So, all this 6 electrons will get paired up like this. Okay. So, total magnetic moment here will be 0. That is why option number A. Next, if delta P is less than P, uh, delta O is less than P, the correct electronic configuration for D4 system. If it is less than P means we have like this, okay, and we have D4 configuration. So, it is D4 configuration will be like this, okay, because it is a uh, delta O is less than that is splitting is very less. So, what will happen here three electrons and here one electron will be um, excited so it will be t2g3 and eg1 so that is my option number b next choose the correct options for nico4 nicn4 2 minus and nicl4 2 minus now if you see nicn4 okay it's a strong field ligand it is having dsp2 hybridization okay now nico4 is also co is a strong field ligand but due to the oxidation state of nickel is here uh, 0. So, all the d orbitals are occupied that the configuration becomes all the d orbitals gets uh, packed in 3d orbital and the hybridization here is sp3 and cl4 hybridization is sp3. You can draw it and check. So, for nico4 it will be tetrahedral, nicl4 is tetrahedral and nicn4 is square planar. So, I can say that nico4 and nicl4 uh, are diamagnetic NiCO4 that is diamagnetic but NiCl4 is not diamagnetic so that is wrong. NiCl4 and NiCN4 are diamagnetic. No, NiCN4 is diamagnetic so this is also wrong. NiCO4 and NiCN4 are diamagnetic and NiCl4 is paramagnetic that is correct. So, option number C. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट हाइपो इज यूज एज अ कॉम्प्लेक्सिंग एजेंट ऑप्शन नंबर ए नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कंपाउंड इन ऑर्गेनिक मेटेलिक कंपाउंड यू हैव अ बॉन्ड बिटवीन अ कार्बन एंड अ मेटल राइट सो इफ आई सी सिस प्लेटिन स्ट्रक्चर इट इज लाइक दिस यू हैव क्लोरिन क्लोरिन एंड अमोनिया राइट सो देर इज नो कार्बन मेटल बॉन्ड सो दैट इज वाई इट इज नॉट एन ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कंपाउंड ऑप्शन नंबर सी नेक्स्ट सी यू एस ओ फोर रिएक्ट्स विथ के सी एन सोल्यूशन एंड फॉर्म्स सो वेन सी यू रिएक्ट्स विथ के सी एन वी गेट द कंपाउंड के थ्री सी यू सी एन फोर ओके दैट यू शुड बी नोइंग दर इज नेक्स्ट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स सी यू एन एच थ्री होल फोर एस ओ फोर इन वॉटर विल गिव यू टेस्ट ऑफ कॉपर टू प्लस नो सी कॉपर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स सो कॉपर टू प्लस आई एन विल नॉट बी प्रेजेंट सेपरेटली सो यू विल नॉट गेट द टेस्ट ऑफ कॉपर टू प्लस एन एच फोर प्लस नो सल्फेट आयन इज सेपरेटली प्रेजेंट इफ यू डिजोल्व दिस इन वॉटर वी विल गेट एन लाइक दिस वन आयन ओके एंड लाइक दिस वन आयन राइट सो दिस होल इज वन आयन एंड दिस इज वन आयन सो हियर द टेस्ट फॉर एस ओ फोर टू माइनस विल बी गिवेन सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी नेक्स्ट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ डाई क्लोरो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड डाई क्लोरो हियर देर इज वन क्लोरो हियर दिस लीग एंड इज आउटसाइड here dichloro is outside here dichloro is there bis urea so urea two times it is there so option number d next the ligand called pi acid the ligand which can form pi bonds are called as pi acids so option number a here next dsp2 hybridization so generally dsp2 hybridization will be found with strong field ligand okay this is a weak field ligand okay uh, so you can see all our weak field ligand so we have to do and check so let me try for uh, co nicl4 2 minus i know it is sp3 cocl4 let us try co is in plus 2 oxidation state right and uh, so 3 co2 uh, plus is 3d7 right so i have one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, this one will give me a sp3 hybridization. So this also cannot be there. This also cannot be there. CuCl4. If I try CuCl4, okay. So here copper is in x minus four is equal to minus three. So copper is in plus one oxidation state. Okay. Plus one oxidation state means we have copper electronic configuration is. 3d10 4s1 right now copper is in uh, plus 1 oxidation state so this one will go 3d 4s will not be there so 3d10 is already occupied so here also i'll get sp3 now let us see option number d here we have cucl4 okay cucl4 means cu is in plus 2 oxidation state so that is 3d9 now if i draw this 3d9 configuration okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and after that i have 4s and 4p okay 4s and 4p so now what will happen this one electron which is present here is excited to this orbital and now we have dsp2 hybridization here so cucl4 2 minus will give you dsp2 hybridization next cationic complex means the charge of the complex should be plus so that is your cupra ammonium ion that is a positive so you have cu nh3 whole 4 2 plus okay so that is a cationic complex so option number a here next the complexes are given are which type of isomerism so you can see here with uh, cobalt next we have cyanide and with chromium we have nh3 so that is your coordinate isomerism option number c which of the complex uh, is zero valent metal complex so co is a neutral ligand so here the oxidation state of nickel is zero so that is why option number c here next which one of the following ions has an octahedral structure so you should very clear for octahedral structure i need coordination number to be 6 here coordination number is 2 here it is 4 here it is 4 here it is 6 so that is why option number d here 
नेक्स्ट मोर सॉल्ट फॉर्मूला एफ ई एस ओ फोर डॉट एन एच फोर होल्ड टू एस ओ फोर डॉट सिक्स एच टू दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए सो यू नो डबल सॉल्ट इट इज गिवेन इन द बुक डबल सॉल्ट एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स इज डिफरेंस देर द सॉल्ट फॉर्मूला इज गिवेन सो यू शुड बी नोइंग नाउ टी आई एच टू ओ होल सिक्स टू प्लस इज अ थ्री डी टू सिस्टम द वैल्यू ऑफ द क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्टेबिलाइजेशन एनर्जी डिक्रीजेस बाई सो इफ यू रिमेंबर द फॉर एनी टेट्रा ऑक्टाहेड्रल स्प्लिटिंग द T2G level goes down by minus 2 by 5, okay, and this one goes by plus 3 by 5, right? So now 3D2 means two electrons are there, okay? So two electrons are there means you have to just multiply 2 into 2 by 5, okay? So that is 4 by 5, or it will be 0.8 or 8 into 10 to the power of minus 1 delta O, okay? So 8 into 10 to the power of minus 1 delta o clear okay next question number 21 among the complex listed below the following is the only correct statement so just now we have discussed nico4 is sp3 hybridization nicn4 is dsp2 hybridization and nicl4 is also sp3 hybridization so this is tetrahedral this is tetrahedral and this is square planar okay now all of them are tetrahedral geometry no 1 and 3 are tetrahedral and 2 has a square planar geometry yes that is a correct statement because these two are sp3 hybridization this is dsp2 hybridization next the fo formula for sodium trioxalato aluminate 3 okay so i will have first sodium and then i have trioxalato aluminate mm. okay so aluminium oxidation state is how much you can see 3 and this is minus 6 it is minus 3 okay so that is minus 3 here and this is plus 1 here so if i criss cross i will get na3alc2o4 now you can see that na3 na3 is there but this 3 should be inside and not outside of the complex so that is why option number c here next which one of the following coordination entity is chiral so for chiral trans is not chiral here trans is also not chiral and if you see this one cis uh, cl2 okay so i have uh, cr and this one is oxalate um this one is oxalate okay so the mirror image of this one will be non superimposable so this one will be optically active okay next the complex uh, ion shows what type of isomerism so ptcl2 en2 it can show both cis and trans so that is why it will have geometrical isomerism and the cis one will be optically active so it will also show optical isomerism so option number c so you can see here if i draw like this ptcl okay this is the trans form next what is the cis form you have like this Okay, this is the cis form, and if I draw the mirror image of this one, that is, mm, okay. So this mirror image are non-superimposable on each other, so that is why it is optically active. Next, the complex has the IUPAC name. So you can see that first of all, this part is a an ionic complex so its name should end with argentate so you can see wherever there is silver i can eliminate i have argentate in all the three other options okay next i have cyano with argentate right so i need cyano i need cyano here it is amine so this also i can eliminate next here it is diamine silver one diamine silver one okay so both this options are actually correct so b and d both will be the correct answer okay i think both are same options so that is why both of them are correct which of the following two compounds exhibit both geometrical and structural isomerism so this is 20 24 question you need to find out which exists both geometrical and structural isomerism so here i can have ionization isomerism structural isomerism is there and this one can show me geometrical isomerism so a will be obviously there in the answer now this compound will have no isomerism because you can see the ligands are not satisfying the valencies here i can have 
facial and meridional isomerism right and since no2 is present i can also get linkage isomerism which is a structural isomerism so both a and c that is option number a now here you can see we cannot we can have a solvent isomerism that is structural isomerism but we cannot have any geometrical isomerism here okay let us see question number 27 here based on the valence bond theory match the complexes listed in column 1 with the number of unpaired electrons on the central atom in column 2 so first if i see fe f6 3 minus so fe is in plus 3 state right fe here is in plus 3 state and it is a weak field ligand so we will have 3d5 configuration right 3d5 that means five unpaired electrons will be there here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what will be this a will be r right a will be r so i can eliminate these two option next you can see if i just find out b then i'll get the answer for b it is fe cn6 4 minus means fe2 plus fe2 plus means 3d6 configuration right fe2 plus means 3d6 configuration so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so four unpaired electrons will be there so that will be b will be s so that is why i can say that the correct answer will be option number d here next given below are four statements two of these are correct statements identify them co2 plus is easily oxidized to co3 plus in the presence of a strong field ligand like cn fe cn6 4 minus is an octahedral complex ion which is paramagnetic in nature so fe cn6 if you see it will have um, fe cn6 means fe2 plus right fe2 plus means 3d6 configuration and because it is a strong field ligand all the electrons will pair up so it is not a paramagnetic it is a diamagnetic complex so b is the incorrect statement so i can eliminate these two okay next a is definitely correct because i have a and c and a and d let's see the c1 removal of water molecules from ti h2o hole 6 uh, uh, on heating TiH2O whole 6 Cl3 on heating converts it into a colorless compound. Yes, that is correct. When you heat it, all the ligands will evaporate and all the degenerate, all the d orbitals will now become degenerate. And there is no dd transition at this point of time, so it will become colorless. So A and C are the correct statement here. Next, you have to uh, okay d orbital configurations are given. Okay, let us try Mn2 plus. Right, Mn2 plus is there. okay and it is d5 configuration and if you see we will have like this it's a strong field ligand so i will get all the five orbitals here t2g5 so a has to be option number r so i have two options that is this one a r a r b s b s so let's directly check now c c if you see fe2 plus right fe2 plus means 3d6 and it is a weak field ligand so there will be uh, no pairing of electrons 3d6 is there so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so i'll get t2g4 and eg2 so i can say that c is my q option so c is q that is your option number b here okay next uh next we have question number 30 molar conductance of a complex of cobalt is zero then its structure would be so if there is no molar conductivity the ions produced will be zero here you can see number of ions produced will be four okay here also four here also two but here there will be only one complex no anions will be formed so that is why here the molar conductivity will be zero so option number d is the correct answer okay so students these were the top 30 questions from coordination compounds very easy questions are generally asked so you can solve this chapter uh, very easily any doubt in any question do comment down okay and all the very best for your comet ke examinations do not forget to subscribe the channel